Yo, what is going on, guys? This is Shadow Dragoner, and welcome back to Amanda the Adventurer, guys. Yeah, um, last time we played this as a demo. Yeah, it's had a couple of demos since then, but now it's in the full game. So, yeah, we're going to play the full game here today, but it's going to be divided into, like, three or four parts. Let's get going. Dear Riley, if you're reading this, it means you won't see me again. Let's see in the next life. I wish I could have told you everything. I don't know how much time I have, and there's still so much I have to do before I'm gone. This letter serves two purposes, to say goodbye and to bequeath to you, my house in Kensdale. This next part may be a mistake, and God forgive me if it is. When you settle in, there's something in the attic I need to pass on to you. Look for a tape, but know that once you watch it, there's no turning back. Stay away. Stay safe, my dear, with you always, Aunt Kate. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, I've got autosave. Not a fan, but I'll deal with it. Right, we're in the attic. We never actually saw this part last time, because I didn't play the um thing. Look at like a mouse trap, so maybe I have to catch a mouse. Some kind of padlock here. Alright, um, got a few clocks laying around, I can tell. Maybe that's a puzzle as well. Got some flowers. Oh, we're very weird. Got a safe, table, an oven, and um, some dude that looks like the Android logo. What the heck is that? Oh, some creepy little doll. Hello? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Right, we've got tape one in the kitchen. Let's get it. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Amanda. Hey, Amanda. I'm Wooly. Hey, Wooly. <laughs> Today, we're going to make an apple pie. My nice. favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Honestly, um... Hmm. I don't know, meat pies are pretty nice. Let's get meat. Oh, it has to be, um... It has to actually be six letters. What the heck do I put in there? Um, what's a six letter pie? All right. I can use space. Meet space space. Good mm, luck. That sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, it is. Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? I mean, you can use a lot of things. I don't have knives to answer. What if we use blade? We can't use that. Liars, what are you talking about, Amanda? Good job. <laughs> we can use a sharp knife. There's something I'm nervous about that. I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. <sighs> oh, God. Look, I'm a pirate. <laughs> She's going to kill Willie. Seem safe. Okay, Willie. Let's <laughs> cut the gap. A little glitchy, pie. man. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Obviously the pantry. All right, let's get that. Great. Let's make a pie. Hmm. Why is it? <laughs> it's face, though. It's got like a little cinnamon. face. It does look nice, though. Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. 425. We should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. Uh, <laughs> we're on our own, Willie. That's a little weird. First, preheat right. the oven. I'm writing this stuff down too. 25 degrees. <laughs> okay. Then put the apples into the pie tin. Now put That's it in 40 the minutes. oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! Willie, let's have some pie! Alright. <clears throat> so I'm guessing the first thing we have to do here is make the pie. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, so we need an apple. I put in that tin over here. And it was 425 degrees. And 40 minutes. I don't know how the heck this makes magical pies, man, but it's pretty cool. Oh, we've got a tape. Nice. A pie-flavored tape. That's kind of weird. Uh, this what's called In Your Neighborhood. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go. Hi, friends. I'm Amanda. Yeah, this and wasn't I'm in the demo, Willie. either. What do you like best about your neighborhood? Honestly, nothing. My neighbors suck. That's great! Thanks! I like that there are so many <laughs> friends in my neighborhood. Uh, Today, I want to send something special to oh, my CBF, friends. Oh, CBF, CBF. First, I need to go to the like store to buy them a card. 
Do you know where the store is? Um, yeah, but first I've got to ask, what are these talk outlines, Amanda? Did you kill them? Oh, uh, we want to go to the corner store, correct? Good yeah. job! Let's go to the store! Let's pick out a card! Oh, another card up there. Black card. helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Oh, before you write that, um... The blab bot code could be useful, so um, I assume the code here is 105, I mean 150325. Alright, nice. Okay, these might come in handy later. Also, I'm um, sad. What do you need? Uh, I guess a happy card? It's not their birthday. Great! I found the perfect card! Nice! Time for the next errand! When friends do nice things, it's getting more disto distorted, man. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend. Bro, you got a shot down. <laughs> Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Uh, the baker, I guess. Good job. Let's go get that treat. What the hell? Was that meant to happen? It felt really laggy. Everything smells so good. Cupcakes, cake, and cookies. I want to buy my friend some. Buy my friend some cookies. Okay. Can you show me where the cookies are? Flashbacks that butcher. Why is this cake have a missing slice, man? You trying to sell us um uh, an Eden product? I don't know. Cookies though. Those look so tasty. I say look hard and hard we cookies are the great. Stop in the neighborhood. The package is ready for my friend. They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it. Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's Fair enough. time to go to the post office. We came out pretty Let's late. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait. I don't remember. Huh? Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to she send She seems a lot more like... Friend. Sad help and me. human now. the package need to go to? Four. Wait, oh, um, they mentioned someone named Kate at the start of the game, didn't they? Let's try Kate. Great work! Now we can send this to my friend. I hope she likes the cookies. Kate's her friends? Oh, that's kind of weird. I mean, I guess she did watch them and send the letter. Hamlin, follow us to fun. That must be who made a man of the adventurer. They're the people we're suing. We better keep that in mind. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess we have some notes. Dear Miss Park, I know it's been a long time since you see me. I swear, the library was sometimes the only place I felt safe. I'll always be grateful to you for that, for being someone I knew I could trust. I need that again to trust. Two years ago, my little brother Jordan disappeared. Just poof, gone. My parents were never the same, and now they're gone too. They just didn't get over the grief. It broke their hearts, and it eventually killed them. The police figured someone snatched Jordan off the street. That some crazy guy lured him away. A freak, a freak occurrence, you know. A regular old suburban tragedy. But I, but I know. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, sorry. But I know there's something more to it, and I know you, and I know you know it too. I thought it was, I, I was alone, but nobody believed me when I tried to bring it up. But I heard about the kind of research, dude, that the kind that normal people don't do. I don't know. Maybe it's just a rumor, but here I am. School records, behavioral complaints, make appointments to review cold cases to disappearances. Okay. Got Vladbot. Don't be a stranger. I'm your neighbor. New Vladbot. Yeah, we saw the price earlier. He used to watch that show, you know. It was really sweet at first. I remember they used to tell your families of young kids to watch it. Watch it. It was, I don't know, wholesome, I guess. And then it just got weird. I'd find Jordan standing in front of the TV like he was in a trance. And it was like that little girl was talking to him. She said some really weird stuff. I know most people around here don't believe in the kind of work you do, not at the library, the other kind of work. They just don't want to face the truth that something really evil was here. Can we meet a talk? I don't want to write anymore here. I feel like someone is watching me sincerely. Joanne Cook. Who is Joanne Cook? Hmm. Building is still there, too risky to investigate. When did it change? Um, a certificate for Catherine Park, so that'd be Kate. And energy transfer, would you Siggles? Potential for whatever the heck that says. And, um, yeah, I've got some symbols here and I can't really read that either. Okay. Oh, no, I don't have the best eyesight. I just can't read it. So, why does that look like eyeballs? Oh, right, go back. We don't even have that code. 
All right. Um, there's something on the table for us though. Okay. So I saw um, it was. Wait, was it BCF or CFB? Oh crap! I forgot what it was. That's my notes. Right, CBF. So I think it's. I don't know how to play a piano, so I could get this wrong. C B F. Oh, all right. There we go. Beethoven in training. <laughs> oh no, accidents. All right, fair enough. Um, let's put it in. <clears throat> oh, it's you. Whatever you do, don't. It <laughs> oh. Oh no! Wooly had an accident. No, nah, she heard him, man. Accident is when something bad happens, but it's <coughs> not anybody. She broke fault. his leg. The hell. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. Why does the atmosphere look so weird in this bit tape? Three forty-five. This accident. Right, Three forty-five. All right, write that down. And Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't try. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? Right, um, 345, and for this, I'm um, knee. That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? I want to see what happens if I ride a man, though. I don't think they can help. Oh, God. Pfft. Well, fair enough. Doctor it is. Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room Open another clock. Uh, 620. Find the right doctor to help Wooly. Uh, the bone doctor. Come on. Let's get Wooly fixed up. I can even walk. I can even get Amanda, here. This really hurts. And 2250. The doctor, going the doctor right, isn't was, here right now. Was... Let's see how we can help Wooly. All right, so there was which three clocks for three times. Got you. Injury. Uh, the, the x-ray machine. Monitor? The yeah. X-ray machine or the scale. This one. That's right. Now we can look at Wooly's bone. You just try to kick her at the head? <laughs> Wouldn't blame the guy, honestly. What the hell, man? That's messed up. Oh, there's that Hamlin guy again. Weird. Hmm. <laughs> Right, so we had three different clocks. Um, I don't remember what one was for what. I think this one might have been the 345. Would be completely wrong. I mean, if not, then we'll change it to the 621. Oh, we'll it's wrong bottom. Oh, no. Right, you need to go the night off. <laughs> Setting a clock sucks. <laughs> I just get click at the wrong place. Alright, I think that's good. It's spinning weirdly. And uh, that means the one over here was 620. Yeah, someone's already on 345, I think. Right, 620 it is. Alright, we're doing pretty good with the puzzle so far. Glad I'm writing this stuff down. Alright, and then um, the, there's a digital clock. Yeah, here we are. This one was 20.50, I think. Wait, yeah, 20.50. All right, sweet. Is that correct? No, I don't think it was. Wait, what? Yeah, it was 20.50. The heck? What did I, what did I earn for this? Oh, wait. That was, um... Where was it? I'm so confused. I, did I do it wrong? I might have messed up, guys. I'm not sure. Half the stuff's also missing. Oh, there's a hand here. Oops, sorry. I meant to read that, guys. My bad. What's this clock hand for? Oh, it's grandfather's clock. Wait, what was the clock for this one? Oh crap, I don't remember! Did I get one of the clocks wrong earlier? Guess we'll try 6.20 again. I don't know what the time on this clock was. Crap, what the hell? 
Um, just give me a minute, guys. Oh, wait, no! Wait, before I Google it, your 325 was when he got hurt, right? Yeah, it was. That's right. Oh, okay. Didn't he Google after all? What? It was 325, was it not? I swear it was. Maybe I did it wrong. Hold up. Yeah, I used the wrong hands. Okay, there we go. Fair enough. Oh, safe 826. All right, write that down. Safe's gone now, which means... Do we have to replay it or something? All right, safe was 826. Can chill out, clock, okay? All right, let's get this going. Everything rots. Uh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> sure. I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that uh, I didn't get a chance to answer. <laughs> uh, Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm, I don't know. Just Wooly. Amanda, you know, she stinks. <laughs> You're right. It's a bad smell. What do you think is making that bad smell? This went to a sandwich, cause yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're right. This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. Ugh. This tree really didn't need to say that. Too. Uh, do you know why? What Things the hell? When they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? Oh God. Well, it's a dark episode. That's right. <laughs> the tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Yeah, I don't like to save a woolly. Men can die if they don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our night. Agreed, man. Agreed. Animals can die in different fox? ways, too. A knife and a gun? Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and uh... What do you think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? What were the berries? Why are you looking at me like that? The berries. I don't think that was it. How do you know? No, it wasn't that. Right. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. Um, what killed him? The dude alone, gun. Wouldn't it be nice if he <clears throat> could tell us? Uh, Mr. Fox, what made you Um. Die? Was the ugly um, Mr. Fox didn't even know the hell that got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today. A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, I'm concerned. and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Um. Sometimes I feel myself riding. Oh. Feels far away. Amanda, something's, something's wrong with wrong her. Here. What do you think? Do you think that everything? Wait, wrong? you can agree? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. Wait, Arif does eventually rot, though, right? No. See, everything is fine here. It's all fine. Oh. That's really weird. What? Oh! Hello? Um. Oh. Um. What the hell? What is that thing? Yeah, there's like a sticker on the TV now. I'm going to leave this one here. If you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe. See you guys next one. Peace out.